Right, hello and welcome back to my channel. In my last video I said that I'd show you how to download fonts from defont.com and it's actually really really simple. Um, this is like the fourth time I've tried to film this video now. Um, oh I just keep messing it up. Right, first thing you want to do is go to defont.com. Oh by the way, if you can hear birds it's because it's sunny in England. Yes, it's sunny in England and the birds have decided to come out. Right. Anyway, um, when you go into font.com, it shows you all these different types of fonts, and I've already looked through them, oh god, and I'm going to download this one right here, and you just want to click this download button right here, oh. and downloads on Safari go up into this top corner uh, on the right, but if you're using Internet Explorer, for example, um, it would open up slightly differently, uh, I think, the last time I used Internet Explorer, it opened up in like... Uh, a new little folder thing. Anyway, if you can't find it on the actual internet, you can just look in your downloads folder, um, which is here, uh, which will be on your computer. So just like search for the downloads folder and it should be there. Uh, anyway, mine is right down here at the bottom. So I'm just going to make it smaller. Uh, I'm just going to drag it onto my home screen to make it e easier. Right, some fonts, This. oh my god, this had to happen. Let me just take this one for example. I downloaded the this one right here ages ago and normally the fonts open up like this with two or three um, documents. You want to click the one with the letters. Uh, I've already downloaded this one so I'm just going to go back to this one right here. Um, and this one's just only got the letters so it's obviously easier. Um, but yeah, that's how it opens up and you want to click the one with the little icon of letters and you just want to click install font uh, and it should come up here if you just wait for it um, now it's installed uh, I just want to open if I open powerpoint right what's it called Genesu the last time I looked for a text it didn't work so let me just type it in instead Genesu oh wait it's probably not going to work because okay texts don't install on like things like this if you don't equip them properly. Okay. Uh, you have to refresh anything you want to use that has that uh you want okay. So for example, if you're making something called PicMonkey, um and you've installed a font halfway through, this font's not gonna show up until you refresh. So I'm just gonna refresh this PowerPoint and type in Genesu. Oh. And now it comes up. Right, and now I type. Oh. Hi. This is Genesu. Right. Let's add Genesu's name to my dictionary. Anyway, that is how you install the font. Um, and it's that simple, really. So, yeah. Thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like these, like tutorials, uh, also give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for videos every Thursday and leave a comment saying what video you want to see next week. Um, yeah, that's it. So I will see you next week. Bye.